Hello, my name is Zach Rissey, Product Specialist with New Leader Manufacturing. And today, in this video, we are going to discuss the New Leader Run Screen. As you can see here, I have our main run screen pulled up. And we're going to just go through this, start in the top left-hand corner, and talk about each one of these button presses. So in the top left-hand corner, you can see we've got a density cup. So if you want to change your density, you simply click in that area and it'll bring you to another screen where you can input a different density. So let's, for example, say we're doing some urea. I'm going to put in a 48 pound density. We're going to accept that and accept it again. And now you can see I have 48 pound density. To the right of that, we have our target rate. You want to change your your target rate you can click on that and change your target rate we currently have 250 pounds now you can see we have rate one rate two basically you can on the go you can switch between two different rates on on the go and that's what those two mean your incremental that's just your incremental bump and you can change that to whatever you'd like it does not have to be in increments of five or ten it, it can be anything and then at the top of the page here notice we are only on the main bin. You can hit that drop down and toggle over to the insert if you so choose. Go ahead and accept that. It gets back here to our main run screen. Below our target rate, okay, down here, this is gonna be your actual rate. So when you start spreading, this is where your rate is going to appear. We do have rate smoothing attached to that. If you wanna turn rate smoothing off, you can simply click on that and turn rate smoothing off just as a, a warning you are going to or a note you are going to see raw data when you turn rate smoothing off i recommend keeping that on just to keep it looking a little bit cleaner to the left here is miles per hour this is where your ground speed is going to show up okay we're typically going to be either iso ground speed or if you're having issues with uh, speed showing up, you can switch it over to machine selected speed. And whatever you're getting on the A post will just carry right over into our system. So you'll have ground speed. If you wanna put in a manual ground speed, you wanna test things sitting still, this is where you would do that. You would manually override it and then put in a ground speed, uh, 15 miles an hour. We're gonna accept it. And now you see it says manual and 15 miles an hour. So this will allow you to run things or maybe charge the bin when you're starting a field. Just note that when you start, you know, when you when you decide to take off and you move, this will not automatically kick you out of manual. It will think that you're driving 15 miles an hour no matter what. So when you're done charging it or done doing your your whatever you're doing, make sure you go back in and turn your manual ground speed off so you don't see the manual right here anymore. Okay, below that, we've got our feed gate area. If you wanna change your feed gate, you simply click on the feed gate and you can input right here a new feed gate height. So I wanna to go to three inches, I'll put in three. And then Go back up here to your running man, which takes you back to the run screen, which always takes you back to the run screen. You can see now I have three inches for my feed gate. Okay, below the feed gate, we've got our spinners. If you tap in that general area, it's gonna take you into the spinner settings. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna cover some more of that in a later video. But we here display spinner speed right, spinner speed left, Obviously our 16 sections down here, once we're spreading, this will turn green. And then as our sections, you know, decrease, these sections will turn on and turn off as they increase, increase and decrease. Above the right-hand spinner speed, this is our conveyor RPM. So once the conveyor turns on, you will see conveyor feedback right here. Below your 16 sections where it says G5 jump start 2.225, that is our profile. That is the profile that we have selected currently and it is a 90 foot profile. Bottom left here where it says all, notice we have a twin bin system here. 
I am currently on the main bin because this is what's highlighted. To the right of that is the insert. Okay, if I click on that, it will take me to my insert page. Notice it is the same layout, same button presses, but all of this information here is specifically for the insert. If I want to see both bins on the same page, I hit the all button and now I can see my main bin and my insert stacked on top of each other. I still get my spinner speed down here and my width. On the right hand side of the screen, we have our running man icon, which again, always takes you back to the main run screen, which is what we just described here. Below that is the wrench, which takes you into settings. The gear is going to be calibration. This is diagnostics. And this is tools. And that is the new leader run screen.